Hey guys, I'm Karan Bilani from Mobi Scrub and I'm going to talk about certain apps that are unique in their own way and not your usual wallpaper or note-taking apps. These apps achieve very specific tasks and aren't too many in number in the Play Store. Some of these apps are free and some are paid, but none of these apps are going to consume your battery a lot and are known to work with Android Nougat 7 seamlessly without any issues. The first one is Zuper Widgets. Zuper lets you create your own widgets that are highly customizable and can do whatever you want them to do and no root required to do this. And in case you don't want to create it yourself, there are just thousands of Zuper widget packs available in the Play Store where developers have created beautiful widgets that you can just apply straight away like the one I'm doing here. And you can also determine what tapping on each element should do. So for example, if I tap the date, it opens the calendar. If I tap on the alarm, the clock, then the alarm opens up. There are plenty of Zuper widget packs available on the Play Store. Some of them are paid and some of them are free, but there are ample free ones and beautiful paid ones as well. And you can see over here, this is Tun Zuper 2. It just looks so amazing. It's pretty simple. Uh, you know, once you've installed Zuper widget, just go drag and drop a Zuper widget um, from the widget uh, section and then just tap on it. And then you can open any of those widgets that you downloaded from the Play Store. And you can pretty much customize even the available ones that are already designed by those uh, developers. You could just go ahead and change the colors and then there you go, you know, they reflect on your screen. And again, you know, these widget packs are just amazing. And there's so many options, as you can see right here. They're beautiful. Uh, this is the Ghosty Super Widget Pack. Again, the link for this is going to be in the description below. The next one is called TextPand. Now, sometimes there are just some things that you need to repeatedly type on your smartphone, things like address, email address, or let's say even your credit card number. And you know, it's, that's where TextPand comes into picture. You abbreviate things that you use frequently. So for example, I've, I've used ADR for address, EML for email, and CC for credit card. And it's really easy to just create these on the fly and they work with any keyboard that you have. If you're wondering why my Galaxy S8 looks so different and icons look so beautiful and where my dock disappeared, you know, the bar at the bottom, it's because I'm using Nova Launcher. It's not particularly unique, uh, the launcher, but I think the launcher has the ability to make your Android look unique and not just look unique, but also function exactly as you want. So whether it is about your app drawer, which you want in black or in yellow or in pink, uh, or, you know, change the number of rows and columns in your app drawer or onto your home screen or maybe not have a dock or have a dock or maybe have two docks instead. Or, you know, just change the icon packs, maybe one of these kinds or the other one or just have uh, another icon pack altogether. You can magically launch apps with finger gestures, two finger swipe up, two finger swipe down, turning clockwise, turning anti-clockwise, swipe up, swipe down. You could do a host of things uh, by just using uh, finger gestures on the Nova launcher. And you know, animations, home screen animations. The possibilities are simply endless with Nova launcher. It gives you control over almost everything that you see on your home screen and your app drawer and the way your entire Android experience looks like to you. The next one is called Sesame Shortcuts, and this is what actually brings utility and value to your smartphone experience. However, you are going to need Nova Launcher for this to work. Now, let's say you're looking for a contact. Just start typing the name and you're immediately presented with options to communicate with that contact, whether it's SMS, call or email. Obviously, this works for applications that are currently installed on your phone, but the difference is you know, so for example, you've got WhatsApp installed and you searched for Karan, you can directly WhatsApp to that person if that person is already as a contact in your WhatsApp list. But you know, things go a little different. When you search for an application directly, then all functions related to that particular app automatically come here and your most frequently contacted uh, contacts appear. So you can directly WhatsApp to them. What's even more interesting is, you know, it's got this 3D menu or a 3D action uh, when you long tap a particular app. So you could, you know, long tap YouTube and you could directly go into the trending list or you could just long tap your phone dialer or let's say Google Maps uh, and, you know, directly dial that contact. Again, all of these are frequently contacted ones and the, the app learns on itself. So it's pretty interesting. So of course you need to have Nova Launcher installed for this to work and that's the only way this is going to ever work for you. 
And the last one I'm going to talk about is called If This Then That, which is an automation app, something that's really unique. It's easy to use, no complications, absolutely free, no root required, and it truly makes your life so easy and you do feel very cool about it. You can either create an automation process of your own or you could browse through thousands of user created automation applets that can make your life easier. You could go through what people have created all across the world and then there's just no end to this. There's thousands of these and you know you could go through all of them and you can spend an entire day doing this. So you know for example let's check out an applet for Android and this one seems pretty interesting. If you have a calendar um, you know meeting somewhere Google maps will automatically get launched um, you know giving you directions to that place and you know you could just turn that on uh, set your navigation type to driving if that's what you do and that's it save and it's it's turned on and there are some really more fun ones you know for example your android phone wallpaper changes to your latest uh, instagram photo you know if you take a screenshot it is automatically emailed to your inbox you could back up all your Android photos to Google Drive and you have to specify where in the Google Drive, right? So really guys, there's just so much you can do with if this then that. You just have to keep exploring and if you like a service, just activate it. It's really that simple and every time it does run, you're going to feel so cool about um, all these things that you've automated for yourself. So that's it guys, those were the unique apps from my side. Uh, hope you really enjoyed the video. Do leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.